Today, the modern tractor has replaced the horse and bullock team, which once cleared most of the Victorian Mallee, some 11 million acres of the state's northwest corner. The small spreading eucalypts called Mallees gave their name to this rich province, which under the hand of man has become a granary and sheep raising center. Today it produces more than one third of the state's wheat for our daily bread, barley, oats, and a high proportion of the early fat lambs. A vital factor in the remarkable progress of this great region has been the Mallee Research Station, whose findings have been distributed throughout the area. Established in 1932, the well-equipped centre is staffed by highly trained scientists who work in the laboratory and in the field. These attractive living conditions are provided for departmental offices and meal times are enjoyed in this comfortable dining room. The station conducts experiments with cereals, sheep and pastures. The control of soil erosion is another important project. The most spectacular successes have been with cereals. Gurkha was an old favorite. Rani too held an honored position for many years. These varieties are the parents of insignia, the state's leading wheat, a worthy successor. Today, it is worth half a million pounds a year extra to the Mallee alone. At the research station, it is only after a series of exhaustive tests that a variety is released to farmers. These tests begin in stud rows. Sewing by hand is a tedious job, but the result makes it worthwhile. Here in the stud rows, the ancient sickle has returned to the wheat harvest. After each row is cut, it is put through a small power thresher to prepare the grain for even further tests. Testing continues, and finally, wheats go through a series of small and then larger plots. A new variety, in this case, insignia, is then thought worthy of a name. Orient is one of the two species of oats which are among the station's big successes. Alpha is the other. Although useful for hay and grain, Orient and Alpha have their great value in providing green feed for stock during the winter, when the growth of other plants is naturally slow. To produce a good, fast-growing lamb, farmers must know the best breeds to use, the best time for lambs to be born, the best fodders to store, and how to keep their sheep alive during a drought. These are among the many questions answered at the Mallee Research Station. But in many ways, the most important is the extensive work on pasture improvement. While the grasses are playing their part, Barrel Medic and Lucerne have proved outstanding among the species tested. The research work is supplemented by plots on farmers' properties throughout the Mallee. Here at Woomalang, Mr. Alan Barbary has had plots since 1940. During that time, he has worked in continuous collaboration with the research station. His successful methods are shown in many aspects of his farming program. In one recent year, his high-class sheep flock grazed this phenomenal growth of barrel medium. Lucerne, too, has a valuable place on Mr. Barbary's farm, both under dry conditions and irrigation from a large storage. 
But results such as these have arisen only after much painstaking and often routine work at the research station. For example, soil has to be thoroughly mixed and sampled before it is dispatched for analysis. Plots have to be cut. Grain yields have to be weighed. The growth of fodder plants such as lucerne has to be studied. After the green stuff has been weighed, samples are sent to the laboratory where they are reduced to a standard moisture content for more accurate comparison. Field days are held periodically to keep farmers informed of the latest developments, and large crowds gather to watch the demonstrations and ask questions on current problems. Under the guidance of research station experts, visitors make excursions through fields and experiment plots, anxious to benefit from the station's comprehensive findings. Farmers take home the latest advice on all phases of their work. This means greater production and better quality products. All this adds up to a more prosperous countryside and better living. Local towns, such as Oyen, share this prosperity and thrive in an attractive environment. Homesteads are surrounded by beautiful gardens in an area which once many people thought could never be more than a sandy waste. Research workers are like sowers in the field. They plant the seed and the farmers reap the harvest. In this way, farmers profit greatly from the Mary Research Station. <laughs>